Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And in that last episode, I was just saying, man, I hope some movie news comes up. And then, boom, we got the casting announcement today, which is pretty cool. I was at work, I saw some of you guys' messages. I know I haven't been up on my, you know, replying and commenting and stuff like that. I'm sorry, I got a new writing gig that I really have to focus on, and I'm getting near the end of writing my book, The, the King of Neverland. So I've been really busy on that stuff on the time, the free time I've had. And, uh, and now that I have this new writing project, I'm almost like, ending one and going right into another. Uh, there, King of Neverland's not fully finished, but I'm still working on it to wrap it up uh, as soon as possible. Uh, I was hoping to have it done by this month, and it looks like I'm running behind, as usual, uh, on that book. But that book, I feel like, is a cursed project. I've been working on it for a long time now. Uh, but hopefully, you know, it'll all be worth it, and it'll be worth the wait. Uh, but then this new project's popped up, and now i got to start working on that. So it's a big deal. For me, It's it could change my life if this thing happens, but I can't say any more details about it. But I just will say you guys will be very proud of me. If I pull this off, uh, it will be a really big deal for me and my life and, and maybe uh, put me on a path where I'm actually doing financially okay and, and, and have a little bit less stress in my life and get to do something that I think I should be doing, which is you know doing creative things and, and, and being out there and writing. Uh, but don't worry, that won't affect this show too much. I will always make time for you guys no matter what. So I'm sorry, I've just been you know trying to juggle too much right now. My plate's a little full but I'm, I'm slowly gonna brush things off and clear things off and be back full time. And obviously we got Venom coming up soon and we're gonna have a lot of marketing probably next month in the month of September for that final push. So I promise I'll be available to you guys. Uh, and today we do have some more marketing. We have some, and people are gonna be like, this isn't marketing, I'll explain. Uh, we have some casting news today. Ron Cephas Jones, who was in uh, This Is Us, and he was also in Luke Cage, who I love when I see him on Luke Cage. He's a great guy. I love his character. He has a very warm presence that I can, I feel like is there, even translating through the, the screen. And I like his character a lot. And so seeing that he's been cast now for Venom, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, well, does that mean he was brought in during the reshoots and everything? And from what I understand, and again, this is, don't take my word for it. I haven't you know, confirm this and I don't know for hundred percent but from what I understand the reshoots were just a couple days they were mostly pickup shots there were some with Michelle Williams and like one or two like some things with Tom Hardy uh, but then mostly they're just doing ADR these past two weeks and that's kind of it so as far as I know he's already been in the movie like he's been in it since the beginning and we talked about this when they announced Shope Aluka as being cast in the movie they're like hey Black Panther co-star is now in the Venom movie and the reason they do that is because that is part of their marketing. If they release something every week or every 10 days or so, that keeps the you know the word Venom and the, the fact that the movie's coming out in people's heads. And they get mass coverage, like a Hollywood Reporter here, they get these big websites to re reveal this information. So to me, this is not saying like, oh, he is newly added and he you know he, he's just being filmed his scenes last week and they're gonna edit him in. It's not like that. I mean, it's possible, but it's most likely not the case. Because with Shope, she was already in the first teaser and they didn't announce her till after Black Panther came out. Um, so, and that was obviously weeks after the teaser came out. So that's what they do. That's part of their marketing strategy is just, hey, we don't have a lot of news. We don't have a new trailer to show yet. We don't have any new posters to show yet. We have the contest going on. We got all these other things going out there that we're going to release the brisk, you know, tea thing soon. And uh, and anything else we want to put Venom's face on, we're going to release that stuff soon. And so for now, we just need something today to come out that'll get people talking and think, you know, get them thinking about the Venom movie again and make sure it doesn't leave their minds. Because obviously we have new things that happen every day and people, the average person out there who has a lot on their plate and isn't thinking about Venom 24 seven like I am and not doing a YouTube show about them, obviously they need to make sure those interests stay and they remind people, hey, this movie's coming out. So sometimes something as simple as a casting announcement can do that. And so so, so the, what they'll do is they'll hide some actors from IMDb and not post them on there and say, hey, we're going to save you for our marketing. So that way, you know, a week before this comes out or a week after Comic-Con, we can announce something uh, that is, you know, just enough to get the word Venom out there and trending again, hopefully, even for a short time. So this is just part of that strategy. So I know a lot of you have been disappointed in the marketing, and I feel like they're just trying to be smart with their marketing. They're trying not to give too much of the movie away. That last trailer did give us some big money shots with the you know the fighting of Venom and Riot but I think there's still going to be some surprise in this movie and I got to give credit to Sony for for sticking to those guns and keeping that stuff close to the chest because they've been really secretive about this movie it was closed sets mostly in Atlanta they filmed some things outdoors some things in, in uh, San Francisco outdoors uh, but a lot of closed sets on this movie and they're trying really hard to not ruin what they're working on and that at least garners more interest on my part from it. And again, I'm not trying to go in this movie thinking it's going to be the greatest movie ever, and I'm not also like other people out there going in thinking it's going to be the worst movie ever or that it sucks because it doesn't have Spider-Man in it. I'm just going in going, okay, these are the cards we're dealt. 
It's a Venom movie. It doesn't have Spider-Man. They're going to explore the character. They're going to, they're going to try to tell a story with Venom in it that doesn't tie to Spider-Man, that doesn't just pin him down as the bad guy of the week for Spider-Man to fight. They're actually going to try to explore this character and do something with him. And that, to me, as a Venom fan, is interesting and all I could really ask for. Whether they pull it off or not, time will tell, the movie will show us. But for me, I'm just trying to go in on this even level of, all right, I'm excited and I'm interested, but uh, but I'm ready for anything, you know, hopefully. But I do want to be surprised in some terms because I think that'll help the overall feeling of the movie of going in and not knowing everything about it. And I gotta give credit to Sony for doing that. So sometimes that causes them to change up marketing strategies and not give too much away. And they're trying to involve fans more, get fans to draw posters for them and stuff. So they're trying to come up with different ways to do marketing without giving us you know, too much. And so on that regard, I'm grateful. But the last push is coming up in September. So for all I know, they're gonna dump a lot of stuff on us and we might know too much about this movie before it comes out. But I like the fact that they haven't you know, given us who you know, uh, Woody Harrelson's playing. There's some actors that, you know, Scott Hayes even, we don't even know if he's really playing Roland Trees. We just heard that from people like Atlanta Filming and people that were down in Atlanta that were taking pictures of the stuff they were filming outside. So, I mean, I tend to believe those guys because I don't see why they would lie about that stuff. But who knows if, you know, they you know, were using Trees, but they really were going to call him something else in the movie. Who knows? I don't know why they would be that secretive over a character's name. He probably really is Trees. But still, I think there's a lot of reveals in this movie that we have yet to see. And I hope Sony does their best to keep at least some of them for the actual film because I think that'll you know excite a lot of us as we're watching it being like oh man I didn't see that coming or I was hoping screen would show up and boom there she is you know so I like that they're not playing all their cards it's uh it's nice uh, in my opinion so what do you think of Ron Jones uh, joining this movie I'm very excited I like him he plays he's a great character actor he plays a lot of small parts uh, but he has been you know more in the spotlight lately getting a lot more work and uh, and definitely every time I see him I, I smile and I like I like this guy I think he's great so I'm curious who's gonna play and we haven't seen him in any of the trailers. We broke down all three of the trailers, the teaser one and the two trailers, and I don't remember seeing him in any shot. So if any of you guys did, let me know down below and we'll talk about it in another video. But as far as I know, you know, he probably has another small part in this movie and I don't know what it is. So I'm curious to find out what it could be. So let me know what your theories are down below and let me know what you think of his casting and all the marketing stuff I talked about today. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.